Welcome to the Ghana Plug. If you're traveling to Ghana for the holidays or even over the next few months, this is the right video for you. So you're probably wondering what it's gonna be like at the airport. You know, you might be traveling to Ghana for the first time. You might even have some anxiety because of the COVID regulations. So if you clicked on this channel, please stay tuned to the rest of this video because I'm gonna give you all the information that you need so that when you arrive, you have everything in place to be able to make it out of the airport to have an anxiety free arrival. Welcome to the Ghana Plug. And on this channel, I create content to help the African American community to get plugged into Ghana. So if you like this type of content, please feel free to like and subscribe to the channel. Now, first things first, you must possess a COVID 19 negative PCR test result from an accredited laboratory in your country of origin. And this test result should not exceed 72 hours before your scheduled departure time. All international passengers intending to fly to Ghana will be required to meet the following health requirements prior to admission into Ghana. The Ghana Airports Company Limited is encouraging travelers arriving in Ghana to sign up on the following website, www.globalhaven.org and the link will be in the description below. Passengers are advised to have their PCR test administered only at a TT laboratory. If there are none close to you, you can take your test at an accredited lab or a Global Havens Labs registry. And again, the link will be in the description. If you take your test at a TT lab, Give the lab the same email address you used to open your account on the Global Haven website. Just please make sure that test is administered within 72 hours of your arrival in Ghana. You do not want to have it administered before the 72 hours of your travel to Ghana. And if you're finding value in this video, please make sure that you give this video a like, share with somebody, and please feel free to subscribe to the channel if you're enjoying the content. Now, please keep this in mind. Passengers who disembark from their airplane and happen to arrive in Ghana with a positive PTR test will not be allowed entry outside of the Kotoka International Airport. They are not playing around in Ghana. So if this happens, you will not be allowed entry outside the airport. Any passengers not of Ghanaian citizenship may be refused entry and exit out of the airport. Non Ghanaians may be subject to a 14 days of mandatory quarantine at a designated facility. Arriving passengers will undergo temperature screening. Passengers will be subjected to a mandatory COVID 19 test at the airport terminal at a cost of $150 for non Ghanaians and $50 for Ghanaians and ECOWAS citizens. Now, ECOWAS, if you don't know, is the economic community of West African states. Now, please do not shoot the messenger. I did not set these rates. I will highly advise you to make your payment before you even leave your port of departure. The payment can be made on this website, myfrontierhealthcare.com forward slash home forward slash Ghana. Again, the link will be in the description and make sure you get a receipt with proof of payment that you can show at the Ghana Airport, Kotoka International. So all these policies were enacted at the end of August, 2021. Previous to that time, when arriving at Kotoka International, there was a paper health form that arriving passengers would have to fill out. But since then, that form has gone paperless and now arriving passengers will now be required to fill out this form online or through the website portal. This health declaration form was launched in partnership with Ghana Health Service. If you found value in the information in this video, please make sure you give it a big thumbs up. If you haven't applied for your visa to Ghana, please make sure that you check out the video on the screen. Make sure you check out the rest of the content and subscribe to the channel. And then also, please make sure that you share this video with your friends and family who might be traveling to Ghana. And also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thank you for checking out this video. It's your man, King Anand, and I'll catch you on the next video.